Hello, my beautiful words of love. My name is Sabrina. This uh, energy update comes to you very early in the morning, which a lot of you know, people who know me know I am not a morning person. But I woke up and this, this uh, Let's Talk was supposed to be about, uh, I was going to uh, do a whole full episode about Pluto retrograding into Capricorn. I was going to go into all your signs and your houses. And as I was um, scripting everything and researching, I kept hitting a brick wall. I kept getting a blockage. It was just like, it's just not working. It's not working. And I kept trying to research, research. And then I realized after many hours <laughs> that... I am no longer able to research <laughs> because it goes against everything that I am talking about here as well, but it's also just going against my natural abilities. And um, I, I, I keep telling you guys, stop watching the news, or stop watching um, you know, other podcasts, stop like putting, bringing in so much information into your body because we're here to clear the body and I'm doing this I was doing the same with that um, special episode right and I just kept hitting uh, I just I, it wasn't registering it kept it like I kept getting the different dates everything was just a mess and I, I just like it's greater than me and I realized I can't speak from what I've learned from somewhere else anymore. I need to speak from the heart. I need to speak from what I'm, what's coming up within my soul, within my energy field, and <clears throat> and, and that's it. And it's just like, uh, and I feel like that is coming up for me more and more. Um, I don't like 2020. We're in 2024 right now, and it's we're moving into September of 2024. And this, these past few months, especially August and July and June and May, everything, I think every fucking month was intense. We've like received massive solar codes, lunar codes, you know, we've experienced so much integration, I have, and, so, and I've been elevating and elevating and here I am trying to learn information to share with you that's not natural for me. So I said, you know, fuck it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do it. I, I, I am, I'm, uh, I know that September is like okay, September. There's a lunar eclipse. There's a equinox and there's a solar eclipse. And, uh, within those eclipses to me, there's massive light codes that solar codes that come in that it is upgrading. We're upgrading at, I'm upgrade. I'm. I feel it. I feel it in my body. I feel it when I'm fatigued. I feel it when I'm. I'm unable to sleep at night. I feel it, and I feel. Oh, and there's a few people that I do watch on YouTube and who I'm aligned with because I'm like, oh, it's exactly how I'm feeling too. And um, I do realize there is a form of timeline shift that's occurring, and you're gonna start to realize that. And I, um. Where, um, I mean, it's, it's not only um, something I've learned, it's something I've been being shown as well, that our, my vibration is ri rising, right? Like your vibration is rising. And as a result, there's certain groups on this planet that have chosen to remain in this, the, the static vibration, like a lower one. And there's no judgment there. And I, I used to judge them. I'm going to be honest with you, but I don't judge anymore because that's their, their, that's how they volunteered on this planet. They chose to remain in that vape vibration. I, as a soul, did not choose to stay in that vibration. I chose to rise. And hence the, the heavy energies. Hence the absorption of all these codings and activations and DNA upgrades that all of us are feeling. I'm sure a lot of you are feeling this. And then we revert to uh, labeling them as the um, the lower dimensional uh, labelings, and I, I don't see that anymore, 
right? And I, I try to be as mainstream as possible, but I can't be mainstream. <laughs> Even the way I talk to people, I, I don't, I, I don't want. It's not. I'm here here to make you feel comfortable about, um, you know, to ease your way into this ascension or what? I don't even call it an ascension. Ease your way into this these higher frequencies. I'm here to just speak from my heart. And right now, this is what's happening to me. And like, this past week has been um, telling as well because I, I realize that a lot is coming up to clear for me. So much, like so much of my old energy, like old relationships, uh, even old ways of thinking. You know, like this week, a lot of my uh, body shame issues showed up again, and um, and I know myself, I'm so, I'm I, I'm someone who needs to express it out loud, and I do. And my friend was there, and she was like, "Well, why?" And like, well, "Let's go deeper." And I'm like, "I don't need to go deeper." I don't need to find out the whys of why I'm feeling like this. I just need to release it. And that's like for me, my 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 way of releasing from my body is by speaking it because I am throat, right? So it's like everybody's different. Everybody has a different way of approaching their um they're stuck energies, you know, like we're doing the chakra system uh, and welcome to your journey podcast. And it's like uh, you could react differently to the throat chakra or the sacral chakra than someone else. Right. It could be a different way of responding to it or you have a, you're blocked in a different way and I'm blocked in a different way. But it doesn't mean that I'm right and you're wrong. And that this is something that I wanted to fully express today because I feel this is this we're, we're, we we might be shifting timelines which we are we are, we might be shifting in frequency which is is currently occurring occurring <laughs> like i could feel it. it's like i i've been feeling it for quite a while now and 2024 was a big shift for all of us and there was massive coding coming in and it's a shift of focus as well it's a shift of how what do you want to focus on like, do you want to continuously focus on the fact that he doesn't love you, that she doesn't love you, that he or they they don't uh, they don't align with you? They're not they're they're still in the 3D. You know, even that's a label to me. They're still like living there, and I'm living here, and it's just a div division again. So it's like I, this is something I'm learning too, because me too, I was in divisive mode at the beginning of all this, the awakening. Right? I was like, oh, you know, I'm right and you're wrong and I know this and I'm better. You know, like, I don't, I don't think I ever thought I was better than anyone. But, like, I felt like, oh, my God, why can't you see this, you know? And I, but then at the end of the day, it's like, maybe they don't need to see this. And there will be a moment in September, October, November, um, December of this year that we are the, 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 the shifting of timelines means that those who remain in a lower frequency because they've chosen and they volunteer on this earth to do that because remember, they're all souls who've chosen different frequencies. You, there might be like this, um, you, you might not no longer really see them and they might not long, no longer see you either because the vibrations are different. And this doesn't mean to doesn't mean to say that they can never come to meet you, right? Because it's never, it's not like, oh, we're shifting timeline and now the door is closed, the windows are closed, we're locking key and that's it. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, right? I mean, if we're all living in a present, past, future kind of uh, uh, timeline, then there's no like, uh, I'm here and you're there kind of thing. There's always the capacity to rise. There's always a capacity to rise in frequency. As we do these timeline shifts, as we rise in frequency, uh, Mother Earth, our mirror, begins to react and respond to that as well. Hence, the, uh, for me, I, I've been getting the message there will be more earthquakes and volcanoes and hurricanes and floods and tsunamis and there will be shifting in the Earth because it's normal, right? If I'm shifting... Mother Earth is shifting. We're, we're, we're in this together. 
like in my last video of divine masculine divine feminine energy if like mother earth mother water father sky father sun we're all working in this together right? there's a lunar eclipse so that's the mother there's a solar eclipse that's the father those are the activation codes coming in we're all being activated those who are in full receipt mode are ready to move and it's what it's move like everyone's like ah oh, we're moving to the 5d and i'm like for me the 5d is here the 6d the 7d the 12d the 15d it's everything is here there's no like going anywhere there's no like new earth there is a newer um a newer i i, I truly believe in my heart that we will see changes but only when you're ready to see the changes, right? And like um, this Pluto retrograde into Capricorn to me is like, um, is indicative of, uh, you know, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna go briefly into this again. Like Pluto moved into Aquarius on March, in March of 2023 and to stay there for the next 20 years. Now Pluto, when it does its rotation, all, it, it does a rotation around the zodiac cycle for um, the signs for 248 years it takes it to do it it's at Aquarius now and um, in September to November of 2024 it's retrograding to Capricorn for those three months Now Capricorn is our devil card in the tarot it's it's ruled by Saturn which is that limited beliefs, which is that restrict, restrictive planet, that like um, hierarchy, you know, infrastructure, organization, everything. And to me, the fact that Pluto, which is our death and rebirth card and our transformation card is retrograding into Capricorn, means that all your old limited belief systems, all your old relationships, Everything that is blocked in your body, everything is blocked in your mind, in your soul, and everything in your whole energy field is going to come up to play in a big way. And whether you're, uh, um, whether you're Pluto's in Virgo or Libra or Scorpio or Sagittarius or Capricorn, depending on your generation, you're all going to feel it in different ways, right? Like Virgo is your routines and Libra is your relationships and Scorpio is uh, transformation and change. Like there's so many different, but you all know this and this is what I was going to do, but I'm not going to go into this deeply, but you can look at your birth chart and look at uh, where the placement, it's, it's generational, but your houses are different as well. So each house is one to 12. So regardless of that either because those are just uh, again um very physical level uh, explanations i i truly i feel it i feel it at a soul level that and, and i and I'm, I'm experiencing it that there's a there's a the clearing happening within my body and and my soul everything hence all your block hence your storms that you've been going through all of you and i know a lot of you like hence the relationships that are ending that are beginning that are feeling very destructive hence your breakdowns your collapses it's like how do, else do we go to the light you know how else do we move through that if you do not collapse it, it makes no sense like in a logical way right and i'm not a logical person <laughs> like to me it feels like this is it needs to it needs to die right like nature dies every season and and blooms again it, it needs to die to be reborn and it's not even being reborn it's being born anew that's what i feel is happening to us and we are and we're and we're um crystallizing and, you know, eventually we'll diamondize and eventually we won't have physical forms anymore. But in the meantime, can we enjoy these physical forms, right? And be um, aware and conscious of the fact that if you want to move and if you want to elevate and if you want to rise, it comes with a price. And the price is releasing everything from your old. You cannot hold on to that anymore. And uh, it's, it's so challenging because the human... Uh, our, our, our whole life 
has our whole this whole inverted life that we've lived this dream world this stage this movie this theater piece of theater it has been us holding on to memories you know pictures videos everything like remember remember and like like a, a hold on to the old and respect for the everything like st stick with the families even if they are like no longer aligned with you and it's been all this like it's very a, it's a tough nut to crack for a lot of people but you're if you if you can wrap your head around what I've learned over the years is that I'm I'm just a soul playing Sabrina in this movie and instead of getting attached to Sabrina and her people <laughs> and her I, I, I realize that everyone is like uh, I'm gonna tell you this a personal story so my sister Vanessa a lot of you know this has passed away she she left on her own terms seven years ago and she and uh, her birthday was a few days ago at the end of August and she she came to me and she said listen you need to let me go stop holding on to me you know and then I was like very sad I was like what do you mean like and there she's like I am you it's not like I'm separate from you Sabina I would never was separate I was just in a physical form in your life but I'm standing by you and I am in you and I'm out of you and I'm everywhere I'm just you and you're just falling in love you're just attaching to yourself really so you, the fact that you're attaching to my physical form is just creating like sadness in your heart and grief and heartbreak when you don't need to be feeling that because I'm just you and I was like okay and it was it was poetic and beautiful and profound and of course I have pictures of her and I still look at her and I but ultimately anyone that's anyone in your life is basically you and anyone it, we're all fractals of each other and especially if someone has left whether they um, they committed suicide whether they died of a heart attack whether they died of cancer whatever they, however they left the earth they were you in another physical form because you you need to know that because you are the one here still on earth and those people who have left you have left you like with the burden <laughs> not a burden but have left you because you're strong enough to to move along on this path and it's and it's a challenge as for the mind to get wrap around this right because they just want to hold on to everyone but you're just a soul in a body you're just a soul playing Terry and Lynn and Lori you know you're just a soul playing Tamara and Sabrina and Katerina and and these are just um, characters <laughs> in your dream world and for so much of this journey we are always um, trying to find the purpose and trying to find something else and going into a deep research about our lives and figuring things out and 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 it's just can you just um, be can you just love this and and love the ugly because the ugly is coming up and it's it's playing a big role here it needs to clear and I, I, I've been talking about clearing the vessel for the longest time, and I continuously talk about that. And I do that in my and when I when I do Akashic Records with you. For me, it's like deeper than just knowing the story. For me, I know that I'm clearing that from your library. I'm clearing all of the, this is like a lot of energetic um, gunk that's in that's that's stuck within you and outside of you and in your field remember we have like eight feet circumference a Merkaba around us it's a full energy field around you <laughs> at all times and so you're just needing to clear that so why and why are we clearing this Sabina because I I can feel my spiritual gifts or 
they don't have to be spiritual just my gifts and my inner wisdom coming out and saying hey i like i i feel it and i know that it's like getting stuck somewhere you know it's like i could when you start to learn about the signals that your body gives out and when you start to learn about uh, when the mind is in fear mode or the or the mind is helping you you know like there's no like battle of the ego and the mind whatever there's the working with the ego instead of uh, battling with the ego like let's work all together because really your your goal or my goal is to clear my vessel to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And, and, and for me, Sabrina, I know that I need to speak it. I need to like talk. And, oh, that's so interesting. <laughs> that's why I do these videos. <laughs> because sometimes I'm like, oh my God, you know, uh, there's too much information. But uh, information that I'm releasing from my heart is different than information that I have to go and research. And that, that, that's not working. And it's never worked for me. And that, hence why I was never smart in school. You know, I was never the, the A student. Never, ever, ever. Except when I went into fashion. You know, when I loved what I was doing. <laughs> right? But otherwise, high school, I was like a very... And it's fine. Like, at the time, it was... It's challenging for kids that are, like, uh, not uh, valedictorians and all this. And because there's so much pressure put on them. But... As a as a light, as a as a, a soul, I, I look back and I'm like I totally get it because it, I was bringing in information that was not important. That's why the educational system is challenging for me because it's like it's just shoving shit in your body that's not important because you're so wise. Minus that, minus the books and the everything. There's, and in that I'm feeling it come out and that's why my body's been telling me rest, sleep, 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 no, no exercise, no walking around, no putting in whatever. And it, it's, it's been asking me to eat so much foods that I never, I had stopped eating for a long time, right? I went through my veganism and I, then I was a, a flexitarian <laughs> I was like, oh, sometimes I'll eat this and sometimes I'll eat this. But now it's like, eat this. And I'm like, really? You know, and it's like, it's huge for me. It's and um, because I have all this stigma around food, which my whole life has been my biggest issue because I've always, well, you know, nah, 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 I can't eat that because it's high calorie. Nah, nah. And it's just like, no, today we need you to eat this. Because today we are bringing in so much light that you need to sustain yourself. And you need to, you need to metabolize all this light. And you need to like, um, you know, generate whatever it is and activate. And it makes a lot of sense to me. And it's, this is why I'm doing this video too, is to really tune into yourself. Really, really, really tune into yourself. And you can't tune into yourself. If you're full of information, if you're full of whys and how and, and trying to figure out what it is and uh, like instead of just trusting, trusting your voice, trusting that little voice that keeps coming out and saying, I need to clear. And today I need you to cry for like five hours straight. Can you do that for me? And then you cry. And it's a, instead of feeling bad about crying, you're like, oh, I feel so good instead of you know like and today I need you to be angry you know instead of like um, you know emote you're emoting you're you're it's an energy and emotion that needs to release itself those are what our emotions are and it's to get in touch with your feelings I, I watched this on a video and I was like I'm gonna try to find a link of it and put it down below because it, it's this older man that he's an astrologer and I, I love him I just connect with him it's um, amazing and he was saying how it's it's not about emotions right emotions are just ego which I believe emotions every, everything is egoic it's like you're happy it's your, your ego is, it's not your heart your heart I've always believed your heart is neutral 
and the the matrix or the illusion wants you to believe that your heart is heartbroken or it feels the love or it feels the energy between him and you or her and you and it's not your heart it's your ego your mind but your heart has feelings and feelings i feel this right and i'm not angry i am angry ego <laughs> So anyways, I just wanted to come on today. I have like an itchy left hand. It's funny. It's like money's coming <laughs> or it's just itchy. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's why I'm here today. I Wow, 27 minutes in, I'm talking. And that's what I wanted to just release. I wanted you to get really comfortable with your emotions and feelings and everything coming up. Um, in the like, if it's anger, uh, love it, forgive it, release it. It's like a, I know it's like a, the like, I, I'm sorry, but when I um, started to do that, it just got easier and easier to walk through my emotions. To walk through these energies and to allow them like like um, the few days ago when I said oh my god I feel so fat and I look oh it's so ugly and so ugly nah, 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 nah. it's not because I really feel it and my soul knows it I just need to to express it and then after I, I, I will talk I will it, it will be a big huge conversation with me with myself and I'll be okay yeah I don't really feel that. And I look in the mirror and I really like, it's just a, something that needs to clear. And that's how it clears for me. So it could clear for you in a different way. Right. And it's just me, um, learning to love me fully. And there's, will be moments when I fall back into that. And, and it's like normal. I can't, I can't say that I'm like a fully angelic being, which I'm not, I am human. I'm still playing Sabrina. So as long as I'm playing Sabrina, then I am in the human world, in the physical world. I'm still in the dream world. And as I will still be in the dream world for a long time. But I choose to see things differently. That's all. And I know that um, I've, I've talked to this about with some other friends of mine that Pluto re retrograding to Capricorn is September to November, which is significant in the United States. And I need to like, keep an open mind here. S try not to follow what's going on because things uh, have to occur in the world. We need to collapse the old and to bring in a new. And by collapsing an old, it requires a huge blow up. So I'm not going to go further into that, but you might understand what I'm trying to say. So it, it requires something to feel catastrophic and look catastrophic. But how else do we move into a new? And that's what's happening. And, and the cat catastrophe is happening within you too. A big breaking, a break endings, big endings of relationships, family ships, friendships, um, jobs that leaving you, um, you know, you're moving away from something that you you're doing a passion, even maybe you're an artist and all of a sudden you're like, Oh my God, I think I'm interested in math. And you're like, wow. Right. I know that I, I am, I came in as an architect and, and I, I, I have like some engineering inside me, math, and I hate math. <laughs> such a like a but whatever I think it's coming up again and I'm just gonna allow it instead of push it away and resist it and I'm that and in in doing so I'm gonna allow the everything to come up so please be kind to yourself when anger and sadness and hate you know and all of it comes up you have a racist thought like br bring it up don't suppress it and say, oh, no, I'm not this. And that. just bring it up and, 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 and it just needs to release because it's stuck there. If you have a judgmental, if you're, you know, if whatever it is that's coming up needs to be released. 
And we, we, we live in a society where we repress and we suppress ourselves because we don't want to look like we need to look politically correct and we need to look at but it's, it's you're far beyond this. You're really truly needing to connect to your body and start listening to its signals. Because when we repress, we create dis ease. You know, that disconnect. You know, it's not it's easy to pick up a pill and to take it and to remedy yourself for five minutes. And it's easy to do these things. But you're not doing anything. You're just burying again. And you're just uh, keeping your uh, emotions and your energies really tightly wound inside. So it's time to release. All right. I leave you with this. I hope that this like triggers something within you and it's, it helps you to fully love yourself again and fully listen to the signals from the mind, the body, the soul, everything else. There's, uh, I, I'm more and more, like I'm, I'm becoming more telepathic because I, I reach out to you sometimes, followers, and you're like texting me. You know, I reach out to people and I'm thinking about somebody and boom, they call me. You know, it's like, it's a, it's a gift. It's, a, it's an ability that we all have. Like we're all teleporters. We're all telepathic. You know, we are all of it. We just are, are unable to, um, um, we're unable to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> We're unable to embrace this because we're so congested with information that's not important and and it it wants to release itself so allow it to release itself all right it's it's not it's not new information but i feel like i needed to bring this up and i do believe september is going to be an energetic month for that and we're there even if you're in an astral astrology astrologically there's so much going on with planets like uranus is going retrograde in taurus and mars is squaring this and there's so much going on that i, I said i'm not going to even go there because it's not true to my heart but uh, that is a lot of um yeah, just uranus retrograde in taurus i was like wow uranus is that rebellion planet retrograding in taurus the money sign the financial sign <laughs> so i was like okay there's gonna be a little bit of a struggle and there's gonna be a little bit of um but it, it's like it's the way the the planets retrograde and all this and you guys listen to the new moons and the full moons and you listen to all these things and you get enamored by that but you don't realize that it's happening within your body too if uranus is retrograding in taurus then some and something is retrograding within you too right your body because your body is a planet. Think of it like that. So there is like, there's conflict here too. And there's like trying to, trying to release its barriers, trying to release from its planets and sign. And you like, and this is why I, I like, I'm always enamored. I'm always a, like, it, it's, it's just amazing to me when I see the correlations right in front of your eyes, people. Oh, like it's easy to get attached to the outside. The moon, the sun, the solar storm, the Schumann resonance, this, the retrograde, the mercury, this, but it's all here. Because you have the power. And who, who knows if you're not the one that's actually affecting the planets, right? Like if it, it, it and that's the beauty. And this is the beauty that we're learning. And that I'm learning this as I move through this. So. Remember who you are, my beautiful sovereign beings. And um, the more you love yourself, the more you accept yourself, the more you are able to stand in the awareness of who you are. And the more you release and, and openly release yourself. I, 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 anyways, the more you release yourself, the more you empty your, your vessel and your energetic field, the more change you will see the more you will see the 5d 
in the 12D in heaven, you'll more the more you will see it because it's already here right in front of you. All right. I I was going to like, I, I keep looking at this. I'm like, I'm going to pull a card. <laughs> I don't know why it's sitting here, but I'm going to pull a card for you guys. Just because I love these cards. It's just a shadow and light, which I'll, it'll be my October card. So let's get a card for the collective. Wow, I just want to show you this card that flew out. Which, at the end of the world, an important end, a new beginning. I mean, that is exactly what we are talking about here. I'll read it to you since we're here. <laughs> 45. Storms fly about her, electrical whips crack through the heavy air with their bites of fire, and she sits among them hugging her hourglass, holding everything together till the force creating the change has done its work. When the witch at the end of the world makes her appearance in a spread or divination casting, you will know that something, some, something's time has come. There can be no more delaying for the change has begun. So the best thing for you to do now is prepare for this change. Find solutions to challenges that will come up when the change comes. You will be fine, by the way, and all will be well, but there will be a time of seeming chaos. Wow, <laughs> it's exactly what's going on. And difficulty. If you're prepared and ready to let go and change and let something end, the little witch's countdown will not affect you as it will affect others who refuse to acknowledge that changes are coming and become fearful at their inevitable approach. There is nothing to fear, but plenty to prepare for. You will be safe and well, and very ready to embrace the new world. I mean, just, I, I wanna read a little bit more, but just this is exactly what we're talking about here. Because there will be those who will see this as the end of the world. It will be apocalyptic for them. It will be the darkness is taking over and that there's other entities out there taking over and blah, blah, blah. And there will be those that are just seeing this as a necessary evil or a necessary change. Like how else do we move into the light? So if you want to stay and listen to this, this is nice. I am not, this is a, she speaks. I am not wicked, but I am a witch and changes are made when the world bends and shifts. I hold this I hold this hourglass up to you now so you know that the time for an ending is almost upon us. You can see the signs all about you, the strange weather, the hurricanes, the cyclones, the earth changes all about us. But so many simple simply say I am wicked for showing you this. They blame me for what they call the catastrophes and they ignore the signs. They are with you and it is time to be ready. We are all about to experience a huge change and it will be for the better. But while we hold on to the old, the storms will blast us and the land will shift and self-healing will look like destruction. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm laughing because this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> All right. So the witch at the end of the world has come in appropriately at the end of this reading. All right, my beautiful warriors of love, I'm so happy and thank you so much for listening to me till the end. And I just hope that uh, you start... Uh, truly loving you because you are what I need to <laughs> and I am I you need me as much as I need you here on this planet because we are working as one right we are all in tandem we are all working together it's not separate work it could be look look separate and different because you know I'm 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 more physical and you're more mental and someone's more spiritual but we, we need we need each other like all of our links all of the pieces of the puzzle come together all right my beautifuls subscribe like share comment subscribe then i said it <laughs> and super thanks and if you can join my Kofi membership as well um i do monthly exclusive content for all my members and check out my weekly tarot as well and also book sessions with me. I do Akashic Records, 
soul journey sessions where you come in and we just talk about all these energies that are happening and tarot of course and i have a whole bunch of new I, i'm gonna be introducing a pendulum healing activation as well very soon all right i love 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 all of you as you know and i will see you when i see you okay check out my videos bye